Hello everyone, TechnoSoothe Craig Chamberlain here and this is a virus removal series where we try to nail down those tough to remove viruses that may have infected your computer and made you not able to run your normal, everyday virus scans or functions. I'm a little jealous downstairs right now, my wife is playing Dragon Age and uh, <laughs> she bought it so I don't get to play it until she's done. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a video for you guys while I wait. Now, if you've downloaded the HD removal pack in episode 2, I've got all of these virus removal tools on my website. Um, again, episode 2 will show you where to find them. We are getting out of safe mode now. What we need to do is if you did safe mode by changing your MS config, we need to have you click start and run. Type in MS config again. Go up to boot.ini and make sure that you uncheck safe boot so that when you restart the computer it won't boot in safe mode but just uncheck that and click apply then click close it's going to prompt you to restart and then go ahead and click the restart button now after your computer is restarted uh i have my desktop wallpaper back go ahead and double click on number eight the rootkit detective this is made by mcafee this is going to bring up uh, the rootkit detective main screen then all you want to do is click on settings you want to make sure pretty much everything is checked you want to make sure you want to detect hidden processes hidden files and folders registry items api hooks terminations of renamings of and all, all you know basically check the integrity of your system if anything's been modified when you didn't want it to be modified and then select ok and then go ahead and click now once the rootkit detective is completed it's going to generate a rootkit detective report now this type of scanner essentially generates a report to be analyzed by the experts over at mcafee just go ahead and right click on this and click Add to archive if you've downloaded the WinRAR software. What we're going to want to do is create a zip file out of this. Just collect zip and then select OK. And when that generates your rootkit detective report, we're going to need to send this over to McAfee. Now they have an email designed specifically for this rootkit removal tool. Just email it to stinger at advertlabs.com. And then in the subject line, you have to type in rootkit detective. So let me go ahead and open up my email here. And I'm going to go ahead and put stinger at advertlabs.com. And I just put the subject as rootkit detective. Please analyze this report for me and let me know if there are any threats. And I'm going to attach a file. I'm going to go to, of course, my desktop where I have the package installed. I'm going to navigate to the uh, zip file that I created. Now, once that's uploaded, I'll just click send. For those of you who haven't downloaded WinRAR yet, you can get it at my website at www.pcmichiana.com where I have all the software that I use in all my series. Just scroll down to the bottom right hand corner under free software tools and it'll be at the bottom. It's WinRAR and it is free. All the software on my site's free. And uh, go ahead and wait to hear back from them. Now, I waited this long till the end for this particular tool because we've tried basically nine other tools and we haven't found your virus yet. So now we're actually going to do a full log and send it to the experts and see if we can't hear back from them. Uh, but I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you hear back from them and I hope it works out. As always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.